so I thought I'd make a, another short video just to keep you in the loop what's going on here uh, <clears throat> I have well let me get a package and open it up and you'll understand better I got this today. Oh, you can't see anything there. Let's adjust this camera a little bit. Well, that's better. Got this package today, so let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. This is from uh, bilfärg.se for, for the viewers that are in Sweden watching this. So I ordered some stuff from bilfärg.se. We got some sticks to, to stir it upside down. You stir it with the holes down. Stir the paint. We got some tack clothes. This I did not order. This came with the with the stuff I ordered. So this is I didn't pay for this. This is stuff that you get for free when you order paint and stuff. And look at that. Their packing is the packing is like holy cow. I mean, come on. So what's this first one? <coughs> this is white wheat base. That's that's it's not a base coat. It's just regular white. Nothing mixed in it. It's a, it's a base white. And we got. Clear coat. I'm gonna move this around better so you can see better after I unpack everything. So <clears throat> to speed this up, I just take it out now and we'll look at it when everything is unwrapped. Makes the process a little bit faster because it's uh, some cans here so I get back to you when I put it all on the bench here so I'm, I'm back unpacked everything so when you buy the, <coughs> I bought the paint, the 2K paint and clear coat and you get uh, a bunch of mixing cups, filters and tack cloth, that's included when you buy stuff like that. So we can put that aside. So I got 2K's, 2K, uh, a solid white car paint, there's the hardener and you get, uh, I don't remember the English word for it right now, let's see you have paint, hardener and it's missing in my head right now for tuning. 
So that's the white. And then I got a 2K clear coat. This is a fast drying clear coat. I never sprayed that before. I haven't even sprayed regular car paint before. All I've sprayed is uh, is uh, damn. I'm losing the words this uh, today. Primer. That's all I sprayed. Prime primer. So, and I also got white bed liner. Three cans. I hope that's going to be enough. And this is the 2K bed liner. So you got the hardener with it. You got the mixing sticks. So this is my plan, but I can't guarantee it's going to work. But I wanted to let you know, all my subscribers and other viewers, uh, I wanted to let you know what's going on and what's happening here in the garage. So, <clears throat> I think most of you know that I go to school and I'm building pool decks and I have tons of projects going on. So my plan is, uh, I have school next week, today is Friday, so next week, Monday, Monday, Tuesday and Friday, I have school next week, and after that, I'm off two weeks, and my plan was that those two weeks that I'm off, I was going to spend, concentrate my time on finish sanding inside of the car and paint it. The floor inside the car, I'm going to have bed liner on. Just the floor, nothing else. So all the other areas, the A, B, C, D pillar inside the, the trunk and the, the engine compartment, I'm going to have a white uh, I got the regular base white so it's easy to blend because I have to paint the car in different sections so it won't be any <coughs> difference in the in the paint in the color so so those two weeks if that I'm off I was gonna paint everything inside and the engine room and the wheel wells so I got that done. I have to sand it, finish sanding it first and and then put the, the primer on it. I already have the primer, epoxy primer. I'm going to put epoxy primer on it. Then I have to dry. And then I'm going to spray the white and clear coat it. And when that's dry I got to mask it off and do the bed liner on the floor of the car and the trunk too. I think I do I think I do the bed line in the trunk too. We'll see. I start inside the car and I'll see how long it lasts. These three should should be enough. I mean I don't need a two millimeter thick layer. So that was my plan. But the school is on my behind to get an in USA it's called an intern internship place I don't know if you can call it the same when you come to to big machinery like wheel loaders and excavator and stuff but I need to do four weeks of a kind of an internship at the com some company it doesn't matter what company but it has to do with excavators or, or reloaders. So I've been sending some applications out and there's a couple of them that I have lined up and if they want me to start like next week or the week after next week I don't get those two weeks off to concentrate on this. But that's my plan. If I have to start uh, the internship, you can call it, 
then there is no more time for anything. Not the pool deck, not the car. Because uh, if that's the case, I'm not going to be in this city. I'm going to. Uh, I'll only be home on the weekends, so I'll be out of town for the week, and then I come at the weekends. So, so we'll see. I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on and what my plan is, and it might fail. But if I can drag this out, so I can have those two weeks off and concentrate on this. I really, I really <coughs> want to do this because after this is done, I can start putting the rear end together, the front end together, and you know, the in, inside interior. You know, have, I can start with the electric system, the wiring harness. You know, it, it's all the fun st stuff starts after this. So, but I have a, I have a problem. And I've, I've said that in different vi in other videos that I have problem to get over the threshold to do the grinding and sanding and stuff because I hate it. It's so boring. But I have talked myself into these two weeks off that I was going to do this, and now if I have to go to an internship, this is going to delay everything even further. So, oh. I don't know, <clears throat> but that's it. That's what I uh, I got to paint today, which uh, m it gives me more of an a, a trigger or something to get it done, so I can paint it. Because when it's painted, it looks so much better, and you can start installing all that stuff. So, anyway, I just wanted to update you guys and uh, let you know what's going on. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.